Linda Sopo. I'm here with Campeche and my very good friend Felix Rodriguez, who has come over to play a little, reminisce a little, and be with his best friend, Campeche. And I want to tell you that it's because of Felix that Campeche is really quite an advanced musician. He has grown to love music through the guitar and the generosity of Felix, who played for you. He played Felix. He played, he came to play. This, this has been going on. You can speak I've 20 been, I've years. I've been playing for 22 years for Campeche. I know, it's so wonderful. And for over 40 in this house. <laughs> 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 but Campeche is special because all birds like music and uh, Campeche doesn't sing and dance when I play. He can actually distinguish between different genres. So he might whistle along when I play something jumpy Latin American. He can mimic like he's singing when I play a popular piece. But when I play Bach, his eyes, you can see the white of his eyes and he goes <laughs> in ecstasy, it's very quiet. Do you have white in your eyes? I don't think so. Well, you know, But never mind. He rolls his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> but Felix has been a really important part of this whole household and the music in it for so many years. And certainly, Campeche's passion for music comes well, he, from he has a favorite song, though. Yeah, he does. Maybe we'll get to that uh, if, okay. you, if you guys are up to it. But anyway, uh, Felix um, eh, told... Eh, eh, he just said he is. <laughs> he wants it. <laughs> Felix told me that he's brought his guitar out of mothballs. He hasn't played for four months, five, five. months, Actually, five. five months. And that as a necessary. performer, he, when we were talking before we all started this evening, he was saying, if I don't see an audience, I don't get the inspiration because I, I play for people. I just don't play for myself in the mirror. I don't play. It's hard for me to do... It's very hard. I, I, I Talk about that. If, I, if I'm working on a new thing, and I, I'm working on a new score, and I, I might put out the guitar and get involved with that. But the pieces that I play every day for an audience, I mean, to play them for myself at home, I mean, this piece I've been playing for over 45 years, maybe. I mean, maybe more. So I'm gonna practice that at home. I, I, no motivation no, uh, at true. all, and and well, it got to the point where it got depressing, and then the guitar got unplayable. I don't know what. I, I but this is, I think, one of the reasons why we started this whole program, because I saw and Kiko and we all saw that that there was a collapse of performance. Theaters, everything are closed. And we don't know when they're going to open. And I was here with Ian Hobson, which I mentioned so many times, and I, I, I heard that shout of anguish when he heard from his manager that the shows and the, uh, the programs, concerts he had in New York were canceled. That's, uh, I think, that the uh, direction that concerts are going to go. Their they're big concert halls are out. Everything is collapsed. Yeah. Everything has collapsed. Gonna go. uh, and it's going to be intimate concerts, uh, small community concerts. There's wineries in California that are making classical yep. guitar series. Yeah. And uh, like we had here, we had uh, the cistern concerts. We used to, we've done everything. We, uh, Over we the have last a 500-year-old cistern in this 40 house. 40 years, Felix, we've done everything here in the way of music. Everything. And We've it's done everything, wonderful. but the existing concerts are memorable. I remember playing with Edith Chacon. That's right, you did. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people are watching us don't know who Edith Chacon is. Oh, who doesn't know who Edith Chacon? Google That's blasphemy. Edith Chacon. Oh, Edith Chacon. That but was when it. she got into religion. She came out. Uh, <laughs> what? She got into religion? <laughs> Tell me. All right. Uh, Felix, Campeche is asking for you to play something. Okay, let's try it. From 1901, El Coquí. Are you ready to do the OK? By Jose Ignacio Quinto.
You sang a little bit. Well, he started he singing that well, first. Well, I know, but, you know, a cat got his tongue. You did the coquille so well. I know, that was one of the performances that you and Felix used to always do. In fact, I heard that Felix took you to the street a couple of times. He took you to the plaza, and you performed the coquille song together. Well, you know, I would have made a lot of money if I could take him along. <laughs> This is guy that has like five of these guys, and, and people pay him for photos with the birds. I know, but imagine what they'd pay you to have him sing with you. Oh, yeah. Well, he did miss great. that chance, but anyway. So Felix has been lamenting like so many that it's so hard to play when there's not an audience. And the Can scary thing about what's happening right now is it's changing all of that. Uh, theaters are saying they don't know when they're going to open. Concert halls are saying they don't know when they're going to continue. Um, the musicians that you know that we talk to all the time don't know when it's going to open up again. It's definitely been a very difficult and unfortunate time for performers because without our stages and the audience to watch us it's not it's not fair <laughs> not at all but we have to survive and we yeah. will survive because we are creative we are artistic and we can figure it out funny thing is that i'm a musician and i i'm a better musician so i used to performing so maybe for a young musician who's studying, I mean, he seems to play and practicing. He still uh, doesn't need that much thing of the audience. But for me to play these pieces uh, that I've played all my life, I need an audience for that. Uh, if I'm, if I have a project, then you know I practice new stuff and then I'm excited. But if I don't have a project, to pre so what I'm gonna do? So it, it's a vicious circle. But I've heard that uh, some painters, other art type of artists, have had the same problem with the lockdown. Um, we've been talking to so many people across the globe. I mean, all the way from Moscow to Sydney. And we are getting different reactions. Uh, artists who work by themselves in perhaps writing music, uh, studying old pieces they wanted to learn, uh, practicing, uh, uh, they're, we're fine. It's the ones who perform who have been going through such difficulty with um, this hand that's dealt to us, this COVID hand. And I think it's, it, you were saying how you had been depressed, actually, yeah. by the first I think even the instrument gets depressed. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's true that uh, wood instruments you need to be played. Uh, you know, Everything. collectors buy an antique guitars. Guitars are not like violins. They don't last 300 years. Uh, the life of a good concert guitar is about five years. <laughs> I mean, so you can actually have the guitar that Tarrega used. You can own it. If you have the money, you can buy it, perfectly restored and keep it in a humidity control room and maybe have some famous guitarist come over and you make a video of him playing a few pieces on the guitar. That's it. You're not going to be using it for concerts or touring or nothing like that. Maybe uh, you can lend it for a recording. But it's not like you're going to give him a lease on, uh, for a year and the guitar does not have a year's life okay. of, of so you not know, like traveling. A not no, like no, a no. They're very delicate. Uh, the guitars are, this is the French polish, uh, the wear on the French polish, which you see in a 300 year old violin, because this is a shellac finish. So that's the, the wear you see on a 300 year violin you have in a 20 year guitar. So Yeah, because it's handled, it's touched, and, and it's played. And this is about uh, also the guitar, modern guitars have the curve that violins have very pronounced. Uh, so it's curved in here like this and like this. It's just that you, you barely can see the so curvature. The guitar. You but stay it right is here. curved. Uh, but the violins have a very sturdy, I think it is a perfect acoustic instrument. It hasn't been developed anymore since, 
in 300 years. There's going to be an altering of the design. The guitar. No, the violin. Oh, the violin. The guitar is still, you know, when I see people trying to add strings and stuff like that, they've already tried everything. The two neck guitars that G uh, Jimmy Page used in that Zeppelin, actually that's uh, was used in the Baroque era. There were guitars with double neck, guitar lyres, yes, guitar yes. harps. They're guitars that have extra strings that you don't play. They're just there to resonate. <laughs> so they really? make it sound like a harp. Really? Yes, because uh, when you play a note, And you stop it. Who's that? That's uh. That's Rembrandt. He's, oh. He wants to sing with us. He'd like to be here. When you stop the note, mm -hmm. there's a resonance. Yes. That's a sympathetic harmonic created by another string. So it's a harmonic two 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 octaves up uh, on the. If I play the A on the first string, then the A. I hear the it. The A string. Mm, I hear it. Starts. So a guitar that has a lot of that sounds more like a harp. So what do you call that resonance? But what else? It's do you called call? a sympathetic harmonic, sympathetic offici offici harmonic. Offici officially. Okay. Harmonico de simpatia. But uh, when you play on the guitar something with, where you let the strings, the note string, you get that harpish, harpish sound. Well, if you play like a, if you play the guitar like that, you don't get any of that. Right. So you want to. When you do let's this type of chord, it sounds something. very harpish. He's going to play something for you. Yeah, yeah let's do the, the romance. But he plays a lot of modern stuff. Anybody look at look at, look at that beautiful. Look at I, I don't like to take my eyes off from him. I'm looking at the monitor he here. Loves but, you so but much. he might he might he loves me, but he bites. <laughs> <laughs> he certainly take a chunk, chunk out of that guitar, which is well, done well, when he gets cross at you, <laughs> he will. Yeah. No, but uh, I think that a bird's biting instinct. It's has not to a do bite. It. It's a it's a strongly it's described as a bite. It's more like pliers gripping you and. And trying to pull your finger off, <laughs> and he will he will go for the ligament, the, the tendon. I mean, he knows where the joints are. Uh, they they have an Look instinct. Killer him. birds, they're killer birds. I mean, Hitchcock was right. Doubt is, we 
We did something yesterday because in preparation for Felix to come and share his relationship with Campeche, I had you take some wonderful videos of Mikey dancing. And I think you have about two minutes somewhere. I think that, because this is part of what we're doing is that uh, Felix is a wonderful, fabulous guitarist and we will, when he's ready, promote him as one of our uh, special interviews. Actually, there's a video of done right down here uh, of, me, of me playing El Pajaro Campana. It's on my YouTube channel, which is, I have two. It's a uh, little advertisement here. It's Felix Rodriguez guitar without separation and space number two. Now, my original channel is Felix Rodriguez guitar, but I'm trying to promote the new channel. So it's a space and number two. And there's a video, there's a, a few videos of me playing El Pajaro Campana, which is that. Uh, um, but there's one that's filmed down here and it's. Uh, it shows the whole place uh, like a circle like that, so it's kind of nice. Well, can you, can you check on the screen if the name is okay? Felix Rodriguez Second. Guitar Space Two. Yeah, like, but no, no, no majuscules, no uh, capital letters. Just yeah, like that. Felix Rodriguez Guitar Space Two. That's perfect. What happened uh, is a long story with the other, the other channel has a thousands, over a thousand subscribers and has videos and it's got ads and they're not paying me for it. So, so I'm not uh, Look who's here. promoting it. We have more birds to enjoy this music. Oh my God. Oh, how are you popcorn? You decided to come in here. Hey, look at that slender lady. Hey, Comfy, look at that. Oh, oh get, look Campeche! Get look at that! Oh, 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 look oh. at that, mami chula, Campeche! You see that? Okay. Oh, I'm put so up, put, put your thing up, put your thing up, Campeche! Well, he knows popcorn very well. Popcorn is it? Oh, put your thing so up. Put your pretty feather up, That's Campeche. But only the males have the. Um, no, everybody has the it. color. Everybody, all. She exactly. doesn't have the color. All exotic birds, Campy. male and female. Show your pretty bird. Look at that, the color. This, this red <laughs> color is what I mean. You see this beautiful, this beautiful papaya yeah, color? I don't know what it is. It's more That's like a... That's why I wore my papaya today. So no, no, this is, this is this. such a beautiful color though. It's, it's got so much more color now. Look at that, look at that red. That's Campy, you have a pretty feather. Nobody feather. can see it really here. You have to get uh, kind of well, a close-up. Well, you have to. You, you're the one who can so grab him. <laughs> we're I'm not interviewing <laughs> Felix. I'm not putting my fingers in there. Who is one of the most important musical figures in Campeche's life. And he started Campeche thinking about music 22 years ago. And we've been having a little reminiscence of <laughs> he loves Felix with all his heart. He goes like that. And it's Felix, a joke. play for convention one more time.
We should guitar. we should tell the audience that uh, kids stay safe. I mean, we we took off the mask before for the recording here, but we yeah. do have them and we're using them. Look at the so Judy, Look at the sugar. So You're we oh should. Uh, <laughs> wonderful. Also so sending greetings to Felix. We're still going. Oh, uh, the has requested COVID Alma Llanera. Whoa. Dun 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 dun. Da di da di da. Da di da di da. La 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 la. I can play something like that. I can. I hardly can play. I've been five months without playing. Well, well that's uh, what's happened to all of us. We've been on. I, yeah, this is a, no, really. Hold. This is the first time, and this morning I had the option of practicing, but then I would have come with all strings, so I changed the strings. It took me a bit, and that's what I did. That's all the practicing. Change the strings does not practice. <laughs> <laughs> so I had the option, either I changed, Jen called me last night, so I had the option of changing the strings or practicing. He He's so excited that you're here. I, uh, these gestures. Yeah. but it's Venezuelan. Well, so somebody Campeche saying hello to Campeche. So Campeche, say hi. Say hi. Yeah, hola, hola. Maria Salgado. Hola, Campeche, hi hola, you. say hola. He's having the best time. He's Campi, so say happy. hola. This is your day in the COVID situation because Felix came to play for you. Oh, <laughs> Don't fall off. Don't fall off the ledge. <laughs> He's on excited. top of an elephant. I know, and he loves it so much when you're here. Oh, yes, he's so 
tusks and yeah, stuff. Yeah, he loves it so Amazing. much. Amazing, how do they I, do I wish you could zero in on the, on the body uh, 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 language of this bird as he's listening. He's so excited. And sometimes I feel I he kind of opens his mouth to kind of catch the chords when Felix plays them. I want people to see the elephant down here. <laughs> he, ca he opens his mouth kind of an elephant. to like pull the music in to his body and it's I've seen this so many times and it's amazing how much he's he had cares many different reactions but one thing is for sure he loves me he loves the music he loves the guitar but he cannot be near it <laughs> if you if you like let him for one second he will the, the strength on that bite, on that beak, is... Well, we pulled the guitar out on last that night. Note. On that note, let's see what he does. All right, he's gonna, he has a little, uh, he has a little video about okay. Petra and the guitar. Oh, <laughs> but not this guitar. <laughs> not that guitar. Let's see it. Oh, oh, gee. So that's a good guitar. That on, a, on that guitar. Oh my God, Jen, you let him do that on a guitar. But he's playing it. it gives him oh, I can't. What? Tell me when it's over. A collectible, twenty thousand dollar guitar. Before I could even, he was on my shoulder and he went. Rah, rah. No, nobody paid for it. It's over, but I'm. I'm So, but it's interesting how the way birds react to things. And this one is so excited about Felix being here. He's saying, Felix, play again. The thing is, after after five months without playing, I have no idea what I can play or not. Not, I mean, my fingers are sluggish and all that, but I can deal with that. It's uh, here. I, I might start playing something, and it goes, and suddenly I. Just let it go. Whatever you want. 
I, I just forget. We're all in a COVID, so I'm gonna try to COVID do this. conflict. Exactly. That's what that is. Wait, wait, I'm gonna try to do this. I can't remember anything. No, no, no. See, I, I don't know what I remember. <laughs> uh, unless I start reading oh, the music here. Sugar wants you to play Don't Cry For Me. Uh, that I can remember. Okay, okay, we'll try that. That's Rembrandt. Maybe I missed the section or so. Uh, well. oh, did I do that? <laughs> oh. That's Rembrandt. He's a very musical guy. Yes, Don't do it on the rock. Rembrandt has <laughs> been learning Mozart. He's been learning the Queen of the Night aria. Ah. And sometimes we are so cracked up and doubled over with his Rembrandt. attempts that it is marvelous. Well, I know what Rebra likes. Rebra, you're not paying any attention. It's like that 70s uh, avant-garde music that you had to use spoons <laughs> and stuff. To I'm glad we're done with that and concrete music and all that. But you know, we do have cockatoo cocktail hour here. Oh, I don't know how that sounds. At the Canning Club. And this lady has three birds. Tres cockatoos. 
and with the one here and Campeche and then Rembrandt learning Mozart and Michelangelo dancing the twirl, which was wonderful. It really is a wonderful thing. So, Felix, what are you going to play for Campeche since we're getting to the end of our... He says, what are you going to play for me? Play for me. Keeping, it, keeping, keeping them short so I can play a little bit more. <laughs> so you, your fingers are hurting, I'm sure. Uh, not my fingers, my memory. I, before I, because <laughs> if, if I start playing something, oh, I can remember, fine. So before I forget, I want to stop it. <laughs> what about Waters of March? Do you know that? No. Oh. Never did play that. I, I did an original. Oh, que sera, que sera. La, di, la, di, la, di. I, one time I did that one. Um, Let's see, something Brazilian, from Brazil. This is uh, by Jobim, it's called Once I Loved. Oh, Amor en Paz. are part of my life and birds are so musical and they have been a, become to me kind of a continuation of my 
really important interest in music because I see in them such appreciation and such, I think our music started with birds. Tens and tens of thousands of years ago, we are here because birds taught us about music. When you find that your guitar is properly restored and you're ready with your, you will come and play for us and be a part of our musical people. But well, I, 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 the way I uh, got to open the bar and play at the bar, like I used to <laughs> every Tuesday, we had a guitar night here. We and did. We used to have every Tuesday for like God, this guy play. quite filled in here. <laughs> but everything's changed, so. Oh, well, they closed, they opened the bars for a week and then they closed them out. Yes. A mess. And, uh, well, I Puerto Rico is one of the strongest. Uh, safest. Yeah. I don't know if it's the safest or not. I mean, we don't know what those. They, I think they use the same calculator as in Maria. So, <laughs> uh, don't, don't believe any of that stuff. <laughs> or the numbers. If they use the same calculator as in Maria, when the governor told uh, Trump that, oh, we only had, uh, I don't know how many deaths, uh, <laughs> 17 deaths or something like that. And he said, oh, then nothing like... Uh, yeah, we don't need to give you anything. Yeah. We'll give you paper towels. Yeah. But uh, it, it's, um, in terms of the wearing the mask, it's a public ordinance and right now, and uh, which is, I think, legally stronger than the document that the, gov the governor did. I mean, the, the mayor with that public ordinance, that's a, it's law. What's not law? not uh, Well, you have to wear a mask. Good. It? So people come from places in the state. There are places in the state that you don't have to wear a mask. And so, uh, and in terms of we've had the lockdown for five months now. So in terms of that, it's a strong, it's a strong place in here. Yeah. Well, I certainly feel safe. Yeah, just yeah. It's not as popular. It's just when the tourists come Papa. and they do not Papa. respect us. Well, all. supermarkets are the main place to be careful. <laughs> Well, I make a point of never going to any of them, and I won't be able to vote either. So what do you do? I order everything. This is, be careful with that, because there's this lady who never went out, and she got COVID, uh, and she had her grocery delivered. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, so it was in the bags. <laughs> the there is a, you know about the light. You get a little wand, and you put the, the, the light over the... Yeah, it's, I'm sure you know. It's that. like a lightsaber. Oh, it's, uh, yeah. it's just really ridiculous. <laughs> it kills the germs. Oh, we won't get Oh, it kills the germs? Yes, of course. Doesn't even show you. They're doing it in schools and everything. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> I'm talking to them. I'm Curtis seeing Lee that. All is it. Glow, I'm so glad. I'd like to know right. if Yolanda Pocahontas is that a, a nickname or is that really your last name? And is. is <laughs> 
I, I know book no, it's, it's cool. And Kurt, I just didn't know it was well a as thing. Hello, <laughs> it's wonderful. I'm glad you're all with us because uh, we're uh, um, expanding on a kind of a, an and because you know that I love the birds and what, but the birds are so musical, and Compeche's interest in music started with this guy right here. Well, with the guitar. <laughs> with the guitar and with it's Felix. So look, look, play. Look, play another piece. I'm so happy that you're probably one of the few musicians I know in the world is willing to put up with bird interest in your music. <laughs> yeah. What did you say, darling? As long as it doesn't get to my guitar. <laughs> I know, we've had a few incidents like that. Oh, well, I anyway, love him Felix very much. Was, Campeche is very happy to have welcomed you here tonight. You tell him. Yes, you yeah. love Felix. Are we close a little bit, uh, hold on. We were trying to do cookie. We're ready. You're gonna do cookie? Are you gonna do cookie?
you sang wonderfully. Hi, Felix. How can I thank you? It was wonderful of you to come over today and be with us and give the birds a little musical. Look at this guy. He's still dazed. He's, so, he's so excited about Says your being here. First year of music. And uh, Rembrandt is showing his enthusiasm by chewing up the little tablecloth here, which oh. is the way he expresses his musical. Well, I think I think birds are this kind of birds have their beak. They're like little babies when they're too teeny. I mean, they can't help it. When they, they might love something and have their full attention, and they see something they can nibble at with the beak. Even if they don't eat it, they just kind of like taste it. Taste it. Yeah, they looks like they taste it. They taste it. But anyway, I want to say thank you. <laughs> this. These programs are brought to you by the Gallery Inn and the Steinway Society. Look, Paulette is watching. And Paola, so Paulette. I'm so glad <laughs> you're joining us because we will keep this going. We have some wonderful musicians, young musicians. Uh, tomorrow we have Chian Chu uh, broadcasting from Boston. And the next day we have a wonderful uh, young pianist of us here for the <coughs> for Kiko's broadcasting from Boston. Porto, Porto Piano. And uh, so we have some wonderful music by very young musicians who have played in the Gallery Inn, uh, the Cannon Club, and they're going to be with us for the next two days, as you will um, hear them. And so tune it at 6.30 every day, and we will bring music to you during these incredibly interesting times. And performances will happen here. And Campeche, can you say good night to everybody? Thank you all for being with us. It's wonderful to have you. Oh, that's share a good the music, of wood for you. Share the music and share it with the birds. Good night, everybody. Thank you so. Good night. <laughs>